All right, Fedora 36, let's go, baby. Okay, let's see what we have now. Oh, yes, the regular start Fedora 36 plasma made by KDE. There we go. Now, Fedora 36 is still in beta because when I checked it on their website, I saw that it was still in beta. So maybe its bugs are not that bad where the regular person can still use it, hopefully. Let's see. I, I like the wallpaper. I love the wallpaper. The wallpaper looks nice. I don't know what this is. I think it has something to do with some kind of connection. I don't know what this is. Right, let's go ahead and install this thing right now. Let's see what Fedora 36 gives us. I don't think it's gonna look much different from the regular Fedora 35 though. Maybe just a few custom or performance improvements. So everything here looks good. Let's just take a look at what we have outside the box. Uh, let's see, Arc, Discover, that's the software center. Dragon player, what's that? Music player, Fedora, Media Writer, okay. Image viewer, calculator, the regular stuff. It, 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 it has a few stuff in it, but then Fedora wasn't really bloat free so can't complain much all right here's the installation wizard i'm going next from here all that is fine for me okay so it's saying that this is unstable pre-release software okay yes we're gonna be testing it especially like how it's being run on a virtual machine so i won't have to worry about much all right okay guys here's the thing you see fedora 36 i have had a few problems with this specific section but that was when i was trying to install it um side by side with other linux distros now i'm gonna see how this is going to go so i'm just going to install all of it to this disk um i'm not sure why i'm is that all? okay i click done okay what now no disk selected so that's the weird thing with this okay so the disk is selected now. I just right clicked on it. Done. I clicked it done. I don't know why it's stuck there. Okay. Check in. That's it. Okay. So create user. I don't think I need to do the other one. So let's just give ourselves the regular. You know the regular. And done. All right, now let's see what we got. Okay, so now we can begin installation, setting up configuration. I wonder how long this is gonna take. When it's done, I'll get back. Hopefully, it doesn't give us any issues. It didn't take its time. It came back up real nicely. Um, it just finished. There's one thing that I think I'm gonna try and do first. Um, uh, you probably noticed, it's the wallpapers. It's the resolution actually, because the wallpaper just looks so squeezed up and I know it's not like supposed to be like that so it's 800 by 600 pixels that's lovely that's a lovely resolution we will not be keeping it though um, apply this and uh, that looks a 10 million times better to me okay let's see what we have here in the app launcher let's just check out a few things that we haven't seen before dragon player oh it's a media player play file and it to it, I guess it looks at the fire. Play disk. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Emoji selector. Okay, I think we saw this in Garuda. This is a calculator. This is a camera. The KDE partition find. Solitaire. This is a, like a game, I believe. Oh, wow. This is nice. I don't know how to play this game. Oh, I think you should probably match them. Match them? But what are you gonna match this with? Okay, I don't know how to play this game, but it looks it look it looks nice. It's good that they included a game with it. I don't think I've ever seen any other disc to do that. K mouth console. We know that color. I think there's a painting program. Sleeve select. I don't really see anything else that's catching to my eye. Dark mode. Okay, so this looks very good. You have dark mode and light mode. Mm. Workspace behavior. So I believe you probably can get, I see that those windows wanted to wobble. So there's a nice drop shadow here. I like this. I think you can take it off, but I like it. I think the settings are probably in here where you can take it off. 
but I don't want to take it off. If you guys want, you can do show FPS. So where would it do that? Show FPS. Oh, let me apply first. Oh wow, that's cool. So it's showing the FPS right there. Twenty-seven. That's that's kind of nice. And the FPS drops. That's kind of nice. Okay, now this 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 monitor is probably being capped to 30 fps or maybe 40 or something i don't think it has the ability to go to its max the virtual machine gives um fedora i think 256 megabytes so it's not a lot but that's fine let's jump into the terminal what launches our terminal windows t no control rt no control t okay control rt what is fedora's thing again pseudo dnf update okay yes okay so it's doing this little update date there no driver is usually installed with fedora out of the box so we'll have to install that i'm gonna put a link in the description or two links or i'm just gonna have links in the description leading you to how you can install this because i won't be installing the drivers on this virtual box here so yeah so i'm gonna have links in the description where you can get those okay the regular system monitor just like the others not too bad not too bad what's been used 1.8 gigs is being used but it has total of oh yes i'm not my pc total of the four gigs that i gave it right and 1.6 gigs is being used okay lovely and disk this is used in total space six okay i think how much did i give it i'm not i don't remember and cpu i gave it two cores so i don't know i think it's maxing out here a little bit yeah it's definitely maxing out a little bit yeah that's fine though it's updating the system okay uh, yeah console and this so it tells you what's running okay that's nice uh, let me just go ahead and see what other options we have right now so far i'm a hundred percent comfortable with this with how it is probably i put the, the taskbar at the top probably i do that but i'm really comfortable with how it is right now um let's see dark you know i like the dark theme apply that um oh it was it probably was already on it oh no it wasn't it's going there now. Um, oh wow, that's nice. That's that's really dark. I like that dark too. It's a little gray dark. I like it. These are what's there? Fedora breeze, dark breeze. Okay, no problem. I don't see much bugs with it. It's still in beta, but this is a very good beta. My eyes were hurting. There was a lot of light up here. It's telling me about disk space already. Okay, maybe I should have added a little more space. It's about 2.25 right now, so I think I need to rest. I did some work today. I did some heavy work today. What is loading there? What, what is it loading? Let's click on it still. Okay, so it's saying you have 42 megabytes remaining. That's bad. Okay, so uh, how much space did I add though? I think I added about 20 gigs. I think I added about 20 gigs, guys. So I don't know. Storage. I should have given it more space, but I thought 20 gigs was enough. I probably should have given it 50. This is actually where I downloaded it from. So you go to fedora.org. Like you do, you go to actually, you go to getfedora.org and you go down here to where you get C spins right here. Because if you go, if you download this one, this one here, this is the GNOME version, right? Fedora 35 and Fedora 36. This is the GNOME version. This is for Arch based systems, uh, Arch, Arch based processors, Arch based processors. Um, not Archbase distros because Fedora is different. But um, these are the spins. So if you go and click on here, it's going to take you to the different desktops. So you have the KDE one. I was trying to download this, but it was downloading really slow. None of them are coming from other good servers. Their servers are bad. 
I think KDE, the, the plasma one, this one downloaded in about six or seven minutes. And the rest of them, they were, too, they were saying like 20 hours and 17 hours. So I don't know. All of the others. But these look nice. I wanted to test this one, the FXC. I know it's very lightweight and you could recommend this to persons that have older laptops. This would run really well on it. If I get enough likes on this that I, that I feel comfortable with, then I'll, I'll try another one. Because I love this SOAS desktop. This looks interesting. So... I'm interested to try another one of this. If I get like uh, probably a few likes on this video, then I'll definitely try another one. Yeah, so that's basically going to be, be it for the Fedora review, guys. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe, like, and share.